Are you new to the game of flesh and blood? Do you use your equipment to block early damage? Are you using equipment that blocks for two to only block one damage? And are you getting to the late game without any equipment left to block those nasty on hit effects? Well, stop it. Get some help. The equipment in Flesh and Blood are some of the most important pieces of the game, some of them literally dictating how your deck will play. But I have seen people block with their equipment the wrong way too many times for me to allow it to continue. Today, I'm going to give you some advice about how to use your equipment properly. Or at least, you know, a little bit better. The first step to blocking is stop blocking early, especially on the first turn. Listen, I don't care how good your hand is, if you're drawing up to a full hand at the end of the first turn. Just block with your cards. Don't waste your equipment. What are you doing? Just just block with, you're gonna draw up, okay? No hand is too good that you need to waste your equipment, all right? So just stop it. And even in the first couple turns of the game, you don't need to throw your equipment out if your life total is still very high. And for the love of all that is holy, please stop throwing your equipment out to save yourself generic damage. If somebody is sending seven at you and there's no on hit effect and you're at a reasonable life total and you only wanna use one card in hand, just block with that card. There's no need to throw the equipment on there if it's just generic damage. Because what's gonna happen is next turn, they're gonna send a Command and Conquer at you or a Dominate Ice Arrow or something that, oh geez, you know, you're gonna need that equipment for it and now you don't have it and uh, well, well now you're screwed. The only times you should use your armor to block generic damage is if it's going to kill you or put you in a very bad spot in the very late game or if you have repeatable equipment like Valiant Dynamo, Phantasmal Footsteps, and Ramparts of the Ram's Head. But if your pieces only block once or twice, you want to save them for on hit effects because those are the things you really need to stop and those are also usually the cards that are hardest to block. But Mr. Remix, I want to keep my whole hand to attack. Fair enough. But is your hand good? Like, is it really good or is it just end? This is something that I'm still trying to explain to my own friends. If you don't have a great hand with four cards, don't keep it. If it's just an okay hand, just block with half of it. Play a small turn and then wait until you have a really good hand. And then when you've got, you know, your double Lumina Ascension turn, that's when you want to block with your equipment to soak up some damage and then just absolutely dominate your opponents right after. But if you waste your equipment in the early game, you're going to draw those important pieces later on and then you're not going to be able to take a full hit because you've already blocked with all your equipment and oh gee, I needed my whole hand for this now I gotta block with a card or two. Especially if you're playing a deck where you really are trying to set up for a big turn, you want to save your equipment for that big turn when you can pivot the game around. And when it does come time to block, don't just throw random equipment out there. If you have equipment that also have abilities to destroy themselves, you want to prioritize blocking with those first. Cards like Helm of Eisen's Peak, Blood Sheath Skeleta, and Gallantry Gold can block before using their abilities. Meaning that you'll want to block with them before you activate their abilities. Now, learning when to do this is going to be a challenge. It's gonna take time and practice. To get good at anything is going to take time and practice. And so learning how to block well isn't going to be easy because you not only need to figure out your own deck, you also need to learn your matchups. For instance, against a hero like Bravo, you're gonna to wanna to use your equipment mostly to stop the crush effects. You maybe still take some of the damage from the attacks, but you can at least stop yourself from getting those detrimental effects. But if you're playing Blitz and face Ira, you might actually want to hold on to your equipment till the very late game where you're down to one or two life and then you can use the equipment to block things like the Kadachi so you don't have to waste a whole card blocking just one damage, especially at a point where card advantage is absolutely key. The ultimate point that I'm trying to make here is that you shouldn't treat your defensive equipment like it's just a bit of extra life. You can use it in very smart ways to help turn the game in your favor. And it's a pretty complex thing to learn. You need to consider how early in the game it is, what your hand is like and how many cards you can afford to lose, whether or not there's not hit effect and even if that effect is going to be detrimental to you, and you have to also consider if you're gonna to wanna to pop one of your own equipment soon. Again, it's not going to be an easy or fast process learning how to properly block in this game, but hopefully you can take at least a bit of this advice and be just a little bit more mindful when blocking with your equipment and hopefully you can slowly but surely learn how your deck works and learn when and where to block. And hopefully that leads you to winning more games, unless you're facing me because nobody can beat me and I don't even need to wear armor.